Let's make these Christmas tree earrings together. Hello, welcome to my channel, Wailani Creations. I'm Wendy, and today I will show you how to make these Christmas tree earrings. First, I want to show you how different the tree can look depending on the size of bead you use and the type of bead you use. This one here, I use 4mm bicone crystal beads, but this one is a little bit too big for me. Uh, I do like bicone crystals a lot because of how shiny the beads are. But again, it's a little bit too big, so I tried making another one using 2mm crystals, and I preferred this size for myself. This tree has 8 rows. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. You are going to need some green beads for the tree, and colorful beads for the ornament, and 2 brown for the stump. Here I have some 2mm beads. A total of 36 beads. The number of green and colorful beads depends on how many ornaments you want for your tree. But in total, this should add up to 36 beads. I also have a star for the top of the tree and two brown beads for the stump. Tools wise, you will need a wire cutter, a round nose plier, a chain nose plier, and a nylon jaw plier. I have here 12 inches of 28 gauge wire. I am using the soft wire, but I would suggest using half card wire for the actual airing. I'm using the dust soft because it's more flexible for me to um, demonstrate this tutorial a little bit better. Start by adding three beads to your wire. Add the three beads to the middle of the wire so that both sides of the wire are the same length. Now take one side of the wire and put it through two of the beads. Basically, you want to form a triangle with the beads. You see here, this bead is not in the middle and it moves. So I like to use a nylon jaw plier to pull on the wires and tighten everything up. Now the wire is tight and it forms a triangle and also the bead doesn't move like before. Now we create the next row by adding three beads to one wire. Here I have one colorful ornament, but it's up to you. You can add whatever color you want or you can even do all green. Next, put the other wire through the three beads from the opposite direction. Again, you can use the nylon jaw plier to pull on the wire to tighten everything up. You want it to be as tight as possible so that your tree doesn't become wobbly when you're done. Next row, we add 4 beads to one wire, and again we repeat the steps by putting the other wire through the 4 beads from the opposite direction. Here, I try to tighten the wire as much as possible again. Now add 5 beads and repeat the steps. Now add 6 beads and repeat the steps. Now add 7 beads and repeat the steps. The last row will be slightly different where you add 4 beads to each wire. Now bend both wires so that they meet in the middle. Make sure it's as tight as possible and that there's no extra wire or gap between the beads. Now twist the wire together to lock in all the beads. You can hold the wire with a nylon jaw plier while you're twisting it. Now that the wire is twisted, you can put the two brown beads through it to create the stump. Now cut off extra wire leaving about half an inch of wire. Now take the round nose plier and create at least two loops with the wire to lock in the bead.
now it's time to add the star to the top of the tree. Take a small piece of wire and put it through the top bead on the tree. Place the tree in the middle of the wire and start twisting the wire. Now you can add the star through the twisted wire. Use a round nose plier to create a closed loop on top of the star. Cut off any extra wire and then use a chain nose plier to flatten any wire that is sticking out. And there we have it, our Christmas tree earrings. I hope you found this tutorial helpful and I'll see you next time. Bye!